failing heating systems, live and dead rodents, cold classrooms. These are just some of the complaints from students at Newport's Roger High School. And Eyewitness News has received photos and videos about the conditions here at the school, so we wanted to see for ourselves. And tonight, we're getting a closer look inside the school, plus learning that options are on the table to make repairs. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie got a first-hand look today and has the details now from our control room. Eyewitness News received some pictures of inside the school showing some of the worst conditions, so we decided to take a tour for ourselves and see what students and faculty are dealing with. Built in the 1950s, school principal Jared Vance says Rogers High School is showing its age through failing plumbing and heating, causing some interior damage on some walls, ceilings, and windows. The heating system was leaking, and so we come in and be a big puddle of rusty water on the floor. It's concerned some students and parents. Eyewitness News received pictures, even alleging there were live and dead rodents in the halls. School officials aren't denying that or that the building is in poor shape. You can walk through the building and it seems fine, but if you don't understand that underneath the floor in the foundation, um, we have plumbing needs, we have heating needs, things that are significant cost uh, to the city, um, that the, the, the rebuild is important. I asked about a rebuild versus a renovation. Vance says while there is a difference in cost, it would be less expensive to rebuild. In the long term, it's going to be cost effective because we're not having to do all those annual um, you know, upkeep you know, with a, like a, a roof or a wall or a heating or, you know, plumbing. Some students I spoke with confirmed the troubles, but do say for the most part, the classrooms are in good shape. Maybe working in cold classroom doesn't work in the winter because it's like, oh, I'm cold. So you're kind of distracted off like what the heat is. They also say given the alternative, they're happy to have a place to learn. This is the only free education we get. So like if we go to a different school, it's not going to be better. Like it might be a new experience, but it's not better. This November, voters will be asked whether the state should borrow $250 million to fix or rebuild schools. And in 2020, Newport school leaders hope to put a bond question on the ballot. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.